Hey everyone, welcome back to Ask Amy. I have a question today from Natasha. Natasha says, I have anxiety and depression, but I'm also fairly certain that I have OCD. In romantic relationships in particular, I become fixated on needing to know that my partner is not cheating on me or in love with someone else. My checking behaviors involve looking for physical evidence around the person's space, asking them over and over again if they're interested in me or seeing someone else, and fixating on their relationship with other people. These tendencies very understandably are not conducive to a sustainable, healthy, long-term relationship. I've had ongoing therapy before, but never therapy that I felt really got to the root of what I'm experiencing in these situations. I recently read a book called Needing to Know for Sure, and the amount of understanding and relief I felt in finally being able to understand what I was experiencing and why was incredible. Shortly after reading the book, I got into a dating situation, which I hoped would progress, but ended with the person citing this tendency of mine, which they explained felt like mistrust. This has been a similar pattern in all of my romantic relationships. She says, so I guess I have two questions for you. One, is there hope for my treatment? And two, how can I treat this when it only occurs in relationships and then this tendency pushes the other person away or causes them to break up with me? So Natasha, thanks so much for sending this. And um, I want to I want to point you I, I'm so curious about what you heard uh, in that book that felt like relief and understanding because that's how it should be you know like there's there's there are there's so much that you can see about this tendency of yours that can and will and should feel like relief and and a deeper understanding and I'll share a bit of how it looks to me and how I would I would treat this if we were working together but but look for that feeling for yourself because that's what does it is if you feel like oh well that makes sense or oh that's what's going on that's all it is or something like that some sense of lightness relief simplicity around it that's a great direction for you to be heading in those are the feelings we're kind of looking for so um yeah I, yes <laughs> there is so much hope for this so much hope and your second question is around how can i treat it when it only occurs in relationships and then those relationship end, the ships end well this is key to kind of how how i want you to look at this what you're experiencing has nothing to do with the relationship now i know that probably sounds crazy because all of your angst all of your behaviors all of your your thoughts and feelings are about the relationship, right? Like, how does he feel? Is there someone else? Is he still, you know, all of that stuff is is about the relationship. But when you keep it up here at that level where it's about a relationship, you're just barely skimming the surface. And it's not about this relationship. It's about your relationship with your thoughts and feelings. The reason we know that is because it happens in every relationship. Right, so it's never about the person you're with. It's never for you. I'm not, I'm not saying like, you know, yeah, we get hunches about things and, and sometimes our suspicions are intuition in general in relationships. For you, what you know, it sounds like you know that what you're talking about is something that shows up within you, something you're calling relationship OCD, which has nothing to do with the person you're in relationship with it has nothing to do with the state of your relationship now your mind won't let you see that very often you know it because you asked you, you posed your question as if you know it i know you do but your mind won't let you see that your mind will be all about oh but this time and let me just check and yeah that's probably true but let's make sure let's ask one more time you know that's what a mind will do but that's not what's really going on. What's gonna help you and what absolutely can have this reverse and go away for you is seeing more about what's going on within you in these thoughts and feelings. You're experiencing habitual thought and feeling, that's it. And then you're acting on it in a way that your mind tells you to when it's there. But I want you to kind of see this in an inside out reverse sort of way. We're used to having all kinds of stories show up in our mind and and then we think and we feel them and we think about them and all of that and we think the the story the meaning or the rationalization the justification that shows up in our mind is right 
So your mind might be saying, oh my gosh, what's going on? Like, is he cheating on me? Is he still interested? All the stories, right? All the stories, no matter what they are. And that's sort of where you're focused. So, so it feels natural and obvious in a sense, even though you don't like it and you know that it's not healthy, in the moment of being caught up in that story, it is natural and obvious for you to check things or spy or ask questions, do all the stuff that you do. But, but I want you to see it's that, that story is what's front and center. Consider, consider that what really happens is especially in a case like this, your mind just has a habitual way of reacting. Your mind's a machine, it's a computer, it has habits like beat Natasha's heart, breathe Natasha's lungs, it has mental habits like, oh no, what if, oh no, what if, oh no, what if, over and over and over. That's what, you know, you say you have anxiety beyond this, so that's what that is. It's just habitual thought and feeling. Now, your mind wants to tell a story of everything. Your mind will want to make sense of everything. So you feel a little antsy. You feel a little inclination to check something or get a little security. And your mind then comes in with a story. Oh no, something might be wrong in this relationship, right? And then it takes you down the path of all this relationship stuff. But see if you can reverse it and just see it as, as your mind basically just being a really fancy computer. It's a really fancy computer that kind of is, is on a setting where it gets a little anxious, you feel a bunch of stuff, you don't like what you're feeling, and then your mind suggests, oh, if you, if you snoop around a little bit or if you ask him for reassurance a little bit more, it'll settle down. Now, that seems compelling and, and helpful in the moment, but it leads you into exactly what you're talking about where the person says, why are you constantly asking me all these questions? Why don't you trust me? So take... Take the relationship out of it. I know that's the whole story in your head, but I want you to take all the content about the relationship, that person, their behaviors. See if you can set that aside just when you think about this, not, not when you're in a relationship, just now as you're thinking about it and see how what's deeply going on in a deeper way, what's really going on is your mind just kind of has hiccups. <laughs> it, it puts up a little fear little anxiety, it gives you a solution, I'll check on things, you know, then you'll feel better. And you get a little caught up in that cycle. Again, it's not about the person, not about the relationship. It's this cycle that just shows up within you. When you can strip away all the details and story, you, you get so much closer to seeing it more clearly. And you see, oh, this is just a thing my mind does. It's not relationship OCD. It's not even anxiety. It feels like that. It's just a thing your mind does. When you, Natasha, can see how your, a thing your mind does with a bit of distance, with a bit of, in, a, in an impersonal way, you know, with a bit of space between it, that's when everything changes. That's when you get to feel this, even in a relationship, and not keep following through and reliving the same things over and again. And that's how your relationships change. So I hope you hear something in this it's it's flipped it's it's inside out right it's more about looking at just this habitual thing natasha's mind does not about relationship ocd which is big and out here and has something to do with the relationship it's about seeing what a mind does that's why i say it doesn't matter if you're in a relationship or not you can see what your mind does in a new way if it's not around relationships your mind's doing it around other things i guarantee it and even just reflecting on your past few relationships and seeing this with fresh eyes can, can give you so much space and distance from it. And that's how you get to have some insights and really have a different experience. So I hope that's helpful. I, uh, I know this understanding, I think this understanding I share is kind of new to you and I'd love to show you this more deeply. Um, this is exactly the kind of stuff that people come to the little school of big change to see around and they, they do see it so differently by the end of that. So I'd love to support you in some way if that's possible. So thank you so much, Natasha, for sending your question. Hope it's helpful for others. Again, it's not about relationships. It's not a, a thing called relationship OCD. It's deeper and a deeper level. It's just a mind habit. And when we can see these little reflexes or habits our mind has, so much, so much gets to change. So thank you so much. Send your questions to askamy at thelittleschoolofbigchange.com. 
and I'll be back here every Monday to answer them. Thanks everyone. Have a great week.